networking in Contiki NG. Uh, Contiki NG comes with a rich uh, network stack features to allow communication with others. Contiki NG still uh, uses a traditional uh, open system interconnection stack, uh, that is the OSI model. Uh, stack to implement the Contiki NG network uh, protocol stack called the NET stack to enable communication among the nodes in the uh, net network formed by the Contiki NG. Now, the Contiki NG stack is shown in uh, IPG1. So, we go to IPG1 where we have this Contiki NG network stack where we have the application, the transport uh, network routing, and the adapt uh layers forming the uh, coming together to form the network layer and then we have the math layer we have the uh, duty cycling layer which correspond to rdc layer that is a radio duty cycling layer and then we have the last layer which is called the ra radio layer now uh in Fugu one we can see that okay so we have network layer mac layer uh, rdc layer and the radio layer so uh also, uh, we can see the various uh, uh, programs, uh, program files that are used in implementation of each of these layers. For the application layer, we have the web websocket.c, HTTP socket.c, and constraint application protocol coop.c. And at the transport, uh, the file programs used to implement it is the UDP socket.c and TCP socket.c. And then in, at the network and uh, routing, we have the micro IP6.c and then the RPL.c, RPL routing for local allows network.c, which is the routing protocol used. And then we have for the adaptation layer, we have the 6 low fan.c, that is the uh, IP version 6 low power wireless personal area network. Uh, and then we have at the MAC layer, we have the C CSMA.c. Uh, carrier sense multiple access with coalition detection dot c and then we have the rdc layer uh, we have the files uh, program files that correspond to this that are used to implement this layer we have the null rdc dot c and quantiki mark dot c and for the radio we have cc2420 dot c uh, network layer in an osi layer so uh, i've already explained that so <laughs> uh, a network stack implementation Contiki NG provide network uh, libraries and uh, we can find them in the within the Contiki under OS and under the OS slash net folder. So we we'll go to Contiki, navigate into within the Contiki uh, folders. We go to OS, we go to net folder. We are going to see those files there. Contiki relies on IP version 6 uh, stack. Uh, all TCP UDP socket in Contiki NG uses the micro IP. Uh, micro IP, micro IP dot H, uh, that is the header file, uh, micro IP 6 dot, dot C, uh, micro IP 6 dot C from the, which could be found in this directory, contiki ng slash OIS slash net slash IP version 6, uh, which implement for IP, UDP, and TCP protocols in minimize uh, models. And then all, also currently network layer contains two sub layers, the, the upper IP version 6 layer and the lower uh, adaptation layer. Uh, these sub layers run on top of the IEEE 802.15.4, which is the uh, commonly known as the low rate wireless personal area network with time slotted channel hopping, uh, TSCH. Now, regarding routing, Contiki NG applies RPL, which is the routing protocol for low power alloc network, which adopt, adopt the RFC standard RFC 6550. Uh, and RPL develops a routing graph from the root node. Or access point. Uh, now, if the routing graph has form uh, as a cyclic graph, that is no loop, no cycle, and is built from a root node, it is called a DODAC destination oriented directed uh, a cyclic graph. Uh, and see, this is an example of a DODAC where we have the root node having the lowest rank of rank 0 or 1, usually rank 0 or rank 1, and then uh, from there, the rank will increase as we move down further into the network. So uh, the usually the uh, not usually uh, the uh, the root node will have the lowest rank either rank zero or rank one, and then we have as we move down the network, uh, the rank will keep increasing. So the for the closer a node is to the root node, the lower its uh, its its rank. And we have here we have the parent node, we have the children node, and we have the lip node, as we can see them uh, in the uh, diagram. So uh, RPL uh, routing in Contiki NG. So, okay, uh, don't mind the implementation. So uh, 
this is coming from one of my implementation guardian not forget about this guardian node so basically what is this uh i forget about this guardian node is coming from one of my papers that i'm writing uh where i'm implementing a kind of mechanism that will be used to detect some routing attacks so forget about this basically this is the root node uh the root node that is uh, that, that forms the network which is the access point then we have the these are the parent uh each of them having it having some children node that uh each of the node will pine a pair will pine a node that is closer to the root node as it is parent and uh, if they want to transfer packet to the root node they will relay it to the parent node and now the parent node will transfer the packet to the root node so and uh, also a uh, we can see some of the children are also parent to some node like this node has uh, this node as its children and uh, now any node that doesn't have any children will report that as a leap node so i uh, forget this uh interpretation so this is the root node and this are parent node this uh this is a parent node this is a parent node this is a parent node and this are uh, is children and any node that doesn't have any children will report that as a leap node now rpr routing uh in contact ng support three directions of traffic uh we have upward from any node toward the root node and downward from the root uh to any node and also any to any so for the offward we can see multi-point uh to point uh traffic and then for the downward we can say point to multi-point traffic and then any to any we can refer to that as point to point or peer to peer uh follows uh, any to any follows among the arbitrary pairs of node in the doda graph for rpl implementation contiki ng provides uh two implementation i have the rpl classic and the rpl lit uh, RPL Classic is the original Contiki RPL implementation called the Contiki RPL, which we'll find in the legacy Contiki OS, Contiki 2.7 and Contiki 3.0. Uh, now, you can find code implementation for both RPL Classic and RPL Lit in Contiki uh, NG. RPL Classic can be found in this particular directory under net RPL Classic and RPL uh, Lit at uh, under uh, under slash net slash rpl lit from the contiki ng uh, code root uh, also we have the null net library from contiki ng which can be used to test uh, your packet from upper to lower layers uh, this library can be found at contiki ng slash os slash net slash null net and then we have uh, a do now a, a do means do that information object and these are messages, uh, these are packets uh, broadcasted by all nodes starting from the root node. Uh, it includes the node rank, etx, DAG, version number, uh, etc. Now, the node select a parent based on the received duo message and calculate its rank. So, those children node, uh, node in this particular uh, dodec, they were able to select the parent uh, of receiving a duo packet. So, when they receive a duo packet, they check uh the the node that has the list rank and then they will select it as their parents now it uh okay so uh, now and uh, now we'll move into what you call the adaptation layer now with the adaptation layer uh we say the network layer contains two sub layers the upper ip version 6 layer and then the lower adaptation layer now the adaptation layer provide ip version 6 and udp udp user data gram protocol header compression and fragmentation to transport uh, ip version 6 packet uh, which has a maximum of, of uh, which has a what you call a mtu maximum transmission unit of 1280 byte over ieee uh, 802.15.4 uh low data rate wireless personal area network with mtu of one to seven byte so basically what this adaptation layer is that it fragment it fragments the ip version 6 packet so that it could be able to travel across this i triple e it 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 uh, because we know that i it has a maximum transmission unit of 127 bytes but in an IP version 6 network, it is 1280. So this, it is the responsibility of this adaptation layer to now fragment the packet so that uh, it, will be, it will be of this size uh, MTU up to 127 bytes so that they will, they will be able to travel across this 802.15.4 uh, network. And then we'll move to the MAC layer. Now the MAC layer is designed to address collision in packet traffic and to apply backup if there is traffic. Uh, Contiki ng applies the csma csma 
that is career sense multiple access with coalition avoidance for mark layer implementation and um, quantic engine uses the csm ace on the itlpe 802.15.4 protocol uh, we can see the program implementation in the Contiki ng slash os slash net slash mark folder. Now, in the CS CSMAC algorithm, a mode will send the medium before sending packet. Uh, if another mode is sending packet, the mode will apply a backup with a certain value depending on the RDC layer, uh, radio duty cycle layer. Now, if the medium is pre, the mode will send packet that had been prepared by the uh, network layer. Uh, and Quantiki NG also provide a null mark for testing that that is part of the null net from the network uh, library. Now, what null ma uh, null mark do is that it will forward packet from the upper layer to the radio layer driver and uh, vice versa. So now, it is the simplest layer in the IoT IP stack. Uh, it helps to avoid collision, uh, back up if there is traffic with the use of the CSM ACA, which sends the medium before sending and back up if someone else is sending. And the timing depends on the RDC layer. Now, network layer decide on the number of transmissions. Uh, and we have null mark it port packet from the upper layer to the radio layer. And vice versa, we have already seen that. Now, we have the RDC layer. Now, the radio duty cycle layer save energy by allowing a node to keep with the radio transceiver off most of the time. Now, Quantiki NG supports uh, Quantiki mark protocol based on the principle behind uh, low power listening. Quantiki Mark uses the time slotted channel hopping TSCH that is part of the Mark layer of the IEEE 802.15.4E uh, 2012 uh, amend amendment. Now, the radio layer, which is the last layer, is the lowest layer in the Quantiki engine net stack. Now, the radio layer is handled by the radio module from the Quantiki NG mode. Uh, most radio layers work on the IEEE 802.15.4 protocol mechanism. Here, the data arrives in byte or as a pull packet via interrupt handlers. Now, the input data is read out into the buffer, uh, packet buff, and the process is polled. Now, this now this polling process will cause the processes to be sent to the special event and passed to the uh, upper layers. Uh, now, packet buffer. What is this packet buffer? Packet buff. Uh, it is a one buffer that holds a single uh, packet. Now, all layers of the net stack operate on the packet buff. And the packet uh, buffer is, it is large enough to hold only a single radio packet. Now, a Q buffer, Q buff, uh, the packet buffer only hold uh, the current packet, as we have seen previously. Now, but to store packets on queues, we use a Q buff. Uh, it uses a list to keep track of the packet.